What's up everybody, it's Critical. I've just been shown the most amazing rap battle ever done. It's a clash of the titans between Viper C and Yellow Rat Bass Turd. This shit is legendary. I want every mainstream big rapper like Drake and Drake to see this so that way they know what real rappers look like. What it looks like when two true disciples of rap collide when two connoisseurs of rhyming square off now before i start this i just want to let you all know i don't know why it says o kale on the top i don't know who's such a big fan of kale that they decided to make a website for the vegetable but regardless it's presented by them so i thank them let's look at the stats real quick so you can see viper c's got 10 pounds on the bass turd that's going to give him a huge flow advantage However, Bastard has his sack as his influence, which gives him a plus five to rhyming, so this evens out. It's going to be a very close match. All right. 60 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Yo, fuck it. Now, this is how all good rap battles start, with a yo and a fuck it. It doesn't matter what order, but as long as the words follow each other, you can do a fuck it yo if you're feeling adventurous, but a yo fuck it is a safe bet, so he's off to a fantastic start here. Yo, you're a girl, but you got Adolf's beard, B. Why the fuck y'all got me battling Chaos Theory? Matter <laughs> of fact, you're a gay MC. He wastes absolutely no time at all calling him gay. That's when you know you're going up against a real man. He brings out the biggest guns right away. When it comes to rap battling, you don't want to be accused of being gay. You're allowed to ask the other person to suck your dick. You can even call a timeout and ask them a little more politely outside of the verses. That's alright, because you're getting your dick sucked. It doesn't make you gay. They're gay for sucking your dick. Look at his fucking braids. They look like anal beads why the fuck y'all got me battling a marie addicted to kfc matter of fact you a gay mc you probably got pubic hairs he calls him gay for the second time in his first verse so he's blowing his load right into the gay condom putting all of his eggs into one asshole here then he follows up with an absolute knockout blow a real haymaker here you probably got pubic hairs that's just going too fucking far. This man is just going where no one dares go before. If someone comes up to me and says, you probably got pubic hairs, I'm starting a fight. How fucking dare you? That's just too much. This man truly has no morals. He's a fucking fiend. But this is a rap battle, so the gloves come off. He finally giving me that stupid stares because this dude is scared that he uses nair for his pubic hair. Pubic hair, ass hair, titty hair, doesn't matter where. We're going to rap about it and we're going to hurt your feelings about that hair, whether or not you have it. It's just as my father always told me growing up. Sticks and stones may break my bones. Talk about pubic hair, don't you dare. Matter of fact, I'm battling this bitch in Union Square. You a fucking faggot bitch. Your mother is just fat. This little faggot lesbian got puzzles in his hat. I can't even sarcastically try to figure out what he was going for in this rhyme. I'm pretty sure he was just caught between a rock and a hard cock here and he didn't know what to do. Oh, your mom's fat? I'll log on to MSN, find your screen name for a chat? Ugh. This cat is whack, I'll break you, and that's a fact like a Snapple cap with your puzzled Yankee cap. As a matter of fact, yo, faggot bitch. Move over Robert Frost, we got a new sheriff on the block. <laughs> You'll never win the championships like immaculate. What fucking championships are you referring to, Slim Daddy Scrotum? That's a really fucking stupid thing to say, and you could say that to pretty much anyone on the street. Yo, you'll never win an NBA championship. Yeah, you know, that's a fair point. I don't play in the NBA, so I don't think I ever stand a chance of winning an NBA championship. Yo, matter of fact, your pussy is as wide as the world, but I wouldn't be able to say that because I can't tell if you're a guy or a girl. Time. Game, set, and match. Checkmate, Viper C. That is how you take a rap battle home right there. That's some fucking fire right there. Pussy wide as the world? How loose is your vagina, huh? Do you know how big the world is? To be that wide? That's incredible. Good luck, Viper C. Go. Get it. It's a good that you're a rat kid, because you about to be a snack kid. You can't mess with me. I'm too reactive. Steve Urkel coming at you almost erect, really firing out some lukewarm rhymes real quick. Brace yourself. You can't even come to me. I don't even know why you're trying to step to me. I break you up like it was. I don't even know. But I'm going to tell you one time that you can't step with me with any type of lines. You got the weakest rhymes I've ever seen. I can't even try and check with you. Uh, I'm just going to wreck you. Now, I don't know how I'm going to say about you, but your teeth are like woodchucks and wood fucked. But 
I don't know, I'm just wood stuck. That's probably my favorite line in any rap I've ever heard in my life. And I absolutely love how he draws attention to the fact that he's unable to produce the rhymes that he was expected to produce in the fucking rap battle. I like that, he's taking responsibility in front of everyone, but he's not giving up, he's still trying. <laughs> Viper C just decided to show some mercy this time around. He didn't want to absolutely devastate Yellow Rat Bastard just yet, so he decided to let the round end a little bit early. Now, honestly, if I was in his position and I couldn't think of shit, I'd probably just recite a rap song and hope nobody knew what it was from. I'd just bust it out real quick. Yo, fuck it. I am a little bit of loneliness, a little bit of disregard, handful of complaints, but I can't help the fact that everyone can see these scars. I am Viper C with a, with a big ol' dick, but it's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you to just bend down and give it a lick. Then mic drop. And if anyone calls me out for the blatant plagiarism, I just cry and run away. Watch this whore get slammed. You're not a girl. No, you you are a girl. Lyrical genius. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I fucked up. Matter of fact, your vagina's tight. You know that I'm rhyming right. I'm about to leave Viper C with Viper Stripes. Matter of fact, you can't battle me. I'll kill your whole family. Cause you versus me is like Freeway versus Cassidy. Matter of fact, yo. Yo, you got pussy soldiers. I realize I'm getting kind of old now, but I don't know what it means to have pussy soldiers. The best guess I can muster here is tracing back to his earlier rhymes of having pubic hair, so I'm guessing pussy soldiers is pubic hair, if I use it in a sentence. Yeah, man, her vagina was great. It's too bad she had some pussy soldiers, though. Oh, man, she had a bush? Yeah, that's the best I can think of. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe he means it literally, like soldiers made out of vaginas. You, you got some fucking rookie shoulders, Whoopi Goldberg. Now I'm getting the sneaking suspicion he's just pulling shit out of his ass that just doesn't make sense. I don't know what the fuck rookie shoulders are unless you're referring to the shoulders of a newborn baby because those shoulders haven't seen the action yet, thus they are rookies. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb ass, you need a bus pass, that ain't a mustache, that's a fucking... Muskrat. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Yo. You just call me a beaver, but you're tight at your performance. And this guy is just a walrus. He keeps going, ah, in the middle of his rhymes like he's tight at his performance. Because you're mad whack. You should have came here with a fucking backpack and saran wrap mixed with anthrax. You'll get slapped back. You're mad whack. You can't rap, so stand back before I give you a backhand. Time! Now you let him into the zone, and he's spitting some hot bars. That was fucking lit. Shit was swaggy as shit. Shit was too legit. There was so much shit that he had to just quit and call time because those rhymes were too fresh and too sublime. Hmm. This nigga don't even know how I flow. I'ma steal this whole show because these Nikes aren't even real. You got them from JC Penny for real? I like how Viper C actually bends down to try and trace the genesis of the shoes to use in his rhymes. Yo, how you gonna try and step to me with your ugly ass jeans? You ain't a goon, you just a bean. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but you seem like you can't step to me. I just feel like you a whack MC. I don't even know what to say, I just keep flowing, I try to keep going, but I don't know what I'm just trying to showboat. Yo, Yo, I should just... Out of here, man. Time. The fucking audience is now telling this man to leave. Viper, don't just stand there. At least do something. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to rhyme. Just fucking pull down your pants and jerk off or something. People will scatter and you'll win by default. Just do something. Don't stand there like a fucking block of wood. Yo, I'll break you, dude. It's a fucking guy wearing baby blue. As a matter of fact, I'll leave you underwater like the navies do. And I'll kill you. You a lesbian. You probably got a baby boo. As a matter of fact, um, this guy is a girl. He's not, he's not a man. I hope you condom slimes. As a matter of fact, 
I'm slapping this cat. This cat is just whack. Yo. I'm rapping right, man. He got his pants are... Fuck. I fucked up. You're a dumb slut. You suck nuts. What the fuck's up? <laughs> Yo. You got a pussy. <laughs> You're a rookie. I don't even have to say anything to beat you. I'll electrify the crowd like Pichu. I will defeat you. Matter of fact, my music's so rare and this stupid hoe scared. His braids are so fucked up, they're starting to look like Coolio's hair. It's a nice. They both obviously blow ass at their craft here, but at least this guy's having fun with it, unlike Viper C, who's just being super fucking weird about the whole thing. This, this whole thing just kind of seems like a rap battle I would have had in elementary school when rap was first starting to catch on and get big, and no one really knew how to rap battle or how to rhyme, because we didn't really know a whole lot of vocabulary because it was third and fourth grade, but we still gave it a try. And it came out very similar to this rap battle here between these two goobers. Yo, you're eating pee pee for lunch, you got poop in your shoes, I just have a hunch, go stand over there and eat with those big, big feet, just stupid shit, you know? A booming start for Viper C here, really getting the crowd into it, getting them hyped up. I don't even want to start shit, cause I'm just gonna end this quick. I don't even know how I even ended up in this shit. Like, how am I saying weak rhymes at this weak-ass rapper? Because I just can't figure out I'm better than you. You like the rapper the rapper. I can't even I can't even touch my lines. Yo, you think it's fine until I slap you with my nine. Man, I'm wasting time. I can't even say why, but you just ain't worth my rhymes. <laughs> There's even a dog barking in the distance asking him to please stop. I run out of lines, I keep going anyway, but I keep trying to flow and I do it every day. Can't flow, can't go, can't go any slower, but can't keep going and devour hoes and you know... Word. Time. Okay. And wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. First of all, we gotta give it up for the MCs. Give it up for the MCs. But most of all, hold up, hold up, stop, stop, everybody, stop. Oh, Jesus Christ, everyone, calm down, you're going too wild. Now we're going to go to the judges. Can I get a drum, can I get a drum roll? Why am I always... That's right, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Yellow Rat Bastard. Okay, and we will see you fine folks in America after this. It was an incredible performance from both rappers here today, and I think the true winner of this is both of them. What a fine show. Alright, that's it. See ya.